Recently, U.S. President Obama was awarded the much vaunted Nobel Peace Prize. Liberal and conservative commentators in America and Europe were either appalled by or applauded the award. For example, Lithuania's daily Lutivos Ritas wrote this, To put it in a nutshell, it is unclear just which successes Obama is being honored for. Above all, when we compare him with other laureates, it's very strange to award someone the Nobel Peace Prize just because they're more popular than George W. Bush. Many call Bush the worst president of all times. But is just being better than the worst enough to win the Peace Prize? In addition, it is regrettable that for years now, the decision makers in Oslo had given the prize to people further and further on the left of the political spectrum. Wow! makes you wonder what the Lithuanians really think. Now consider a person who wasn't nominated and would not win anyway in any of Nobel's fields of peace, medicine, chemistry, physics, economics, or literature. The non-Nobel nominee is a great peacemaker, yet unlike even our best-intentioned wannabe peacemakers, this person actually knows the way to peace. He is religious, typically a quality of a great peacemaker, in fact, he's the founder of a great religion, but in today's apologetic culture, it's the wrong religion, not politically correct, shall we say. He's a great healer and understands the path to good health like no one else, but will never win the Nobel Medicine Award. His contribution to literature is nothing less than inspiring. His work has been quoted more than any other, and his book is always a bestseller, every year. But he'll never get the Nobel Literature Prize. He's the greatest economist the world has ever seen. He developed an economic system brilliant in its simplicity and amazing in how, if followed, it would completely prevent recessions and depressions. Apparently, the Nobel Committee didn't notice. And what about chemistry and physics? Not a problem. Our non-nominee is the master of both fields of study. In fact, the best that all the other Nobel physics and chemistry winners could ever do is merely study what this master scientist already did. He is a leader of messianic proportions. That quality seems to have been valued in some recent Peace Prize awards. Problem. Our never-to-be Nobel winner is not just a messiah-like leader. He is the true messiah. Go figure. You might like to meet the great one who will never win any Nobel Prize, but first, why not read his book? It's called the Bible, and his name is Jesus Christ. For GN Magazine, I'm Randy Stiver.